646 now and dealing with mental health issues like seasonal affective disorder, you may not immediately think to overhaul your kitchen, but people can boost their mood with food. Joining me now to talk about this is Dr. Christy Watson. Dr. Christy, good morning. Um, good morning. Let's jump right in here. What do studies show about the relationship between diet and mental health and why should we avoid um, maybe heavy comfort food? Well, the, the first thing with, with uh, vitamin D and, and other kinds of foods, there are actually studies starting to show it linked to uh, making serotonin out of, uh, from our gut bio, you know, having a healthy gut. And when we're not getting, when we don't have a healthy gut uh, and don't have good nutrition, that's going to decrease the levels uh, of vitamin D as well as serotonin, which we know is responsible for our mental health. And we know that, um, foods that are high in sugars and saturated fats can actually start to change that gut biome and decrease the levels of serotonin that we're going to have. In addition to carbohydrates in general, um, lots of sugary things being inflammatory, not only to our gut, but to our brain. And that's obviously going to affect our mental health as well. The studies will sh um, have also shown, and, and there's links, but they're showing that when you uh, people that ate a diet high in um, vegetables, fruits, healthy grains, kind of more a Mediterranean diet, actually had lower levels of uh, depression and anxiety, and sometimes actually found that you could somewhat treat the symptoms through food, so using food as medicine. I, I like the thought of that. Um, we're, we have about 30 seconds left. What types of food do you recommend um, someone eat if they're prone to depression and anxiety? Uh, definitely healthy, uh, you know, foods, uh, berries, healthy vegetables, healthy grains, almonds, uh, fish, uh, eggs, things like that are going to help uh, lower and monitor sugars during the day which will also help combat mental health issues. All right, Dr. Christie, thank you so much for getting up early this morning. Great advice. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks. Have a good day. You too.